What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're going to be checking out the newest update to Astroneer, which I think is going to be pretty cool. They've actually apparently changed up the way that research works. They've done a whole bunch of extra stuff like we've got data catalog stores, data bytes. We've got a catalog inside of our backpack. We've got bytes to unlock new technologies. And so apparently there's a whole bunch of new stuff that we can do inside of the game right now. This is one of those games that hasn't really gotten any updates since the last time that I played it, like years ago. Years? A year? I don't know, it was before I moved to my new house. I remember recording it on my old rig. And so it's been a little while. It's been a little while, but we're here on this powdered sugar planet. And I think uh, we'll try to do something here. We can shape our terrain. Okay, I'll probably do that. Is there anything else? That is a gun right there. That is a, that is a cannon, my friend. That is a thing that is ready to go. So what are we picking up right now? Carbon or something like that? I think you pick up plant material or something like that too. And so can I pick up this stuff? Or does that not even count? Oh, it does. Cool. Well, let's pick up whatever the hell this is. So we've got organic material. And that's inside one little slot right there. That's pretty sweet. We can also deform the terrain just by being like, I'm digging a hole. I'm digging a hole. I'm gonna dig this hole deep down in my soul. I am digging a hole. And so, yeah, we can dig a giant hole right there. I'm almost out of oxygen, so I should probably work on that. Making extra oxygen tanks, probably a pretty swell idea about as soon as possible. On our character right now, we have battery power, which is the little yellow meter. And we have our actual oxygen, which is the blue meter at the top of our character right there. Uh, I like this game a lot because they've done a great job actually fitting the UI on the player, which is super fantastic. I loved it in Dead Space. I love it here. Uh, no complaints from Splattercat as long as that exists. What is this stuff over here? What is this, like silicone? What is this? Let's go find out. So this is resin. Okay, well that resonates with me. So let's go grab ourselves some resin from the old resin pit. There we go. Resin pit it on up. Resin, resin pit, pit it on up. Gonna resin pit it on up. Anything else going on in here? I think that's pretty much everything right there. Oh... Right, is there anything else buried in this area? There is. There's more of it down below the surface trying to escape me with its beautiful macaroni goodness. Let no macaroni escape the macaroni crusade on behalf of the Emperor. And so we've got ourselves a little bit of resin there. Now, I will probably want to figure out a storage situation pretty soon. We're at half oxygen. That's not that bad. Like, I would worry about it a little bit more, but like... That's not terrible. Later on, we'll be able to craft ourselves a new oxygen bottle, and it'll naturally just drain out. Uh, it's a really nice utility to have, and it makes me happy. Uh, what other stuff is there to do? So inside of our backpack right now, we can craft some stuff. Press the Q key to go ahead and do that. We've got access to... Wow, our character's kind of skinny. Our character's kind of little and skinny. All right. So all we can make for right now is we need compound to make a generator. I don't have any compound at the moment. So that is going to compound our issue. I can also take out whatever the hell this thing is. So we can make a smelter. So this appears to be my building interface, maybe. And then we can also buy things with the bites, which I think what you do is you take it and you consume resources. And you find treasure chests now, which is a little bit different from how it used to work. And that gives you bites. And then you can take the bites and you can actually buy the stuff that you want to get. And then we click on the little buttons down here to go in between the different layers. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good UI overhaul. This used to all just kind of be in one space up above your character's head. Are right, we out of air? I've got to be pretty close to out of air. Let's go back to our pod. Our pod is definitely where you want to be at if you're a tiny bit worried that shit's going to go down. Uh, leave this as your safe space. It's a good plan. I would do that. Uh, we only have resin right now. And so while we're looking at this stuff, we can make a small generator. And that appears to be pretty much all we can make. We drag and drop the things that we have inside of there. Bim, bam, bam. You'll get what you want. Uh, we've got a winch right there. We've got a shuttle. We haven't unlocked any of that. We've got an enclosed one seat and a three seat for your friends. Just in case you want to bring them along. we got a hab right there. Uh, what other little things do we have up inside of here? We've got a beacon. We've got a work light. Everything else is not unlocked, though. I don't think. Uh, we can also go up in this menu. So there's a generator. Uh, that's all ready to go. I don't know how we make it. I would assume we flip up a button over here somewhere to make that happen, Captain. But we'll, we'll sort it out as we go along. We'll figure it out. Uh, there's other resources over there. That's oxygen, if I remember correctly. And then if we find any macaroni noodles that end up looking a little bit purplish, I think that's the other resource that we need. So this is going to be resin, and then the purple version of that, I think, is compound. And compound makes your life a tiny bit easier. That might be it right there, that little ice cream 
I don't think this going on over on this side where it's all puffed up looking like sugary mashed potatoes or something. Mmm, I love mashed potatoes. I just had dinner. Can you tell that I'm actually a little bit hungry right now? So there's the compound. Let's go ahead and turn that into something useful. Because I do think we're going to need our hand on a couple of resources if we want this to work the way we want it to. Uh, that leaves us with very little inventory space left. But, I think we've finished off the pit here. I don't think there's any further pit re resources that we want to get after. Let's jump back up over the sugar dome and we will head back to this spot. Uh, your base is always going to be shown off with a little marker right here. You can also make custom markers later on by crafting beakers and things of that nature. Oh, we're almost out of air. So they want me to print a small generator. Let's go ahead and do it. We've got access to the materials right here, right there. You can see it being consumed and bam. There is our generator. And so what we can choose to do with the generator is the generator can go up to here, I think. Yeah. And so we've crafted a generator for ourselves. Now that the little generator nodule is right there, what you can do is you can put organic material on top of that and basically use it like burning fuel. You put that up on the top and then it'll actually refill your energy as you go along because later on you're going to use your energy for all kinds of random little things. Uh, it wants me to unlock the canister, which is inside of here. It costs 40 bytes. We have 70 right now. I'm going to go ahead and do it because that's what the game desires. Love the new UI. Uh, the new presentation is really well appreciated. And so the canister has been unlocked. And so that's been done. We can now print a canister if we've got enough resin to do it. So let's make a canister and see how this affects us. I don't know if it's going to make extra air or what that's going to do for me right there. Uh, we can also unlock tethers, which is the other little part that I would look into. Uh, the canister... I don't know what that did for me. Uh, we've got a couple of canisters now, though. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go over to this side, and if we wanted to get tethers, uh, we have the research chamber, which is good. We've got canisters right there. wonder where tethers are at. We've got a beacon. We've got power. We've got a smelter right there. I don't see... Ah, there they are. Perfect. Let's research some tethers. And so tethers are done. What tethers do is you can actually create a grid across the planet of air-filled hoses. They're going to help you keep from getting into trouble with your oxygen. So everywhere the tether goes, so too goes your oxygen. So you can run tethers to important locations and all the way back to your base so that you don't have to come back to base like every eight to nine seconds to get oxygen. You stay near the tether, you keep laying them down, and life should be good. Uh, we can craft tethers in exchange for compound. So there it is. I think you press the T key for tethers if I remember correctly. It's been a long time since I've utilized tethers in this game though. So if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. Uh, I think tethers are, yeah, tiki. And so if we wanted to take tethers out, let's go find something worthwhile to take the tethers to in the first place before we actually start wasting our resources to mash these things out. I think there's a big old world for us to explore out here, and it's a good idea to get that taken care of and figure out our bearings before anything else happens. So let's wander around for a minute. Got some more compound over there. Okay, sounds pretty good. And we got some organic material on that side. I'm looking for caves, locations down below the surface, anything that might have some shinies for us to explore and make happen. But I didn't find anything around, so I think we're just going to place a tether. And so there you go. That's what a tether looks like. You can click on it, you can move it, you can break it, you can do whatever you want with it. But as you can tell, we now attach to the tether rather than anywhere else. And so, like, if we drop tethers, let's go, like, right in there. There we go. And if we put tethers out, we should be solid. I don't see anything in this direction, but on the plus side, we've got oxygen, so, you know, just in case your addiction to breathing becomes an issue, uh, we can go out in that direction now without burning up all of our resources. This on the ground is oxygen, if I remember correctly, and this will actively get used up, if I remember right, as you're going around, like, doing stuff. Um, I need you to be back up on the hill over here, because your current positioning is making me feel a tiny bit worried that you're not going to distribute oxygen the way that I wanted you to. Also of note is we've got these little extendy ports over here. What these do is you extend these out and they supply electricity to various buildings that you're going to be able to erect as time goes along. Uh, we shouldn't have to worry too much about running out of oxygen because your suit will cons it'll consume oxygen that's attached to it uh, before you go any further. So, once the meter starts to go down, you'll notice these little pips on your backpack. They'll slowly start to disappear 
and go away just so that like you've got that extra supply on you. However, don't overestimate them. They're not that useful as an oxygen source. As we get further into the game, we're going to want to figure out a way to make that work a little bit better. Ah, there's a cave right there. So let's run this back to base. It's not connected right now, but we can make it connected, assuming that I have enough tethers. Oh, and I ran out of tethers. Let's make a few more. We got some extra compounds sitting there. Why not put it to work? Perfect. Uh, if we want our electricity to come back, I got to put the... Oh, that's resin. That's not plant material. Okay. Uh, put that away for a moment. We'll whip out our construction tool here. And let's get some more plant matter so we can make sure that our... Make sure that our generator keeps working. And so we put that up there. I love how interactive everything is. I love the way that you just get to play around with stuff and you attach it to like various parts on your suit. I think that's a very cool feature of the game and I think it makes the game a lot of fun. Um, when developers go in and they design something like that, it's greatly appreciated on my part as a YouTube guy because a lot of games are far too rapid to just do everything in like a menu and make everything like very, very obvious, very bog standard. I like it when games do something a little bit unique and so there's our oxygen supply right there that's running all the way out to that cave and so how many bits have I accumulated I have zero bytes okay we already have a research chamber uh, what's a research chamber gonna cost me since I already have that is it inside of here so I've got a generator tethers a canister and all that kind of stuff all right we have soil which is a resource I don't know we've soiled our backpack hmm Maybe we can store soil for later inside of the canisters, possibly? Is it possible to do anything with that right there and put it inside of a canister? I guess not. Alright. I wonder if I could take oxygen and make it work. Very curious about this. I'm super curious about this. Now, other things we can make. we got the small generator right there. We've got a small solar panel. We don't actually have all the bare minimum stuff we're going to need in order to make ourselves a base right now. And so what I'm going to do is let's head on back. We're going to go down into this cave and let's do some spelunking. Let's have a good time. Let's try to find some cool stuff. Uh, the dungeons can be a little bit dangerous. They occasionally have, like, terrifying plants inside of them that will try to eat you and destroy you and kind of make your life difficult. I will continue running tethers down in here while we've still got access to the tethers and to the oxygen area. So I'm going to bring this back to here. And we do, like, sort of have oxygen back at the entrance now. Keep dropping tethers until we're way down in here. Uh, we've got some things right there. I don't know what that is. I think that's electricity. It's like solidified electricity that you can use as fuel, but I don't recall exactly. This over here uh, has led to my death. It has been the first in what I assume will be many deaths in our playthrough of Astroneer. So, hooray. Uh, I pointed my gun at a plant, and the plant did not appreciate it. But we're coming in for a landing. I'm going to go back and try to get my body. When you see those planets over there, uh, in this game, you can absolutely explore those planets. That is an option for later, so keep that in mind. Uh, when you get out to those other planets out there, there will be new resources and things that you weren't able to get on this planet. Um, did it just put in a second? Okay, that one's going to take off. Good. I don't want my base to be crowded. Let's get back in the shit, everybody. Let's do this thing. We don't walk away that easy. That's not how Splatty do. Splatty's got to die over and over and over again to learn his lesson effectively. Let's ride. So back down in the pit, uh, we can pick up our stuff, if I remember right. Yeah, you can pick up stuff off his backpack, and you can put it in your backpack. Um, and you'll find dead bodies and stuff like that as you go through the game as well. If I take this resin right here, like, how do I get that resin up off the ground? Ah, there we go. Yep, put it inside the backpack. Uh, we'll definitely take some of the canisters, put those inside the backpack. You can also actually find really useful items on dead bodies from time to time. Uh, you'll find things like extra oxygen tanks, lots of little things. So keep an eye out. It's a good idea. We got some ammonium over here. Okay, I don't know if I need ammonium, but I'll take it. Maybe I'll get some storage space a little bit later on. Looks like popcorn. It's got kind of like a popcorn thing going on. Are we agreed there? I kind of feel like it looks like popcorn. Get it all nice and buttery. And once you got that buttered up popcorn... Oh, we got too much ammonium now. I don't think I need that much. We got, like, ammonium for a minute. What is this thing? Can I do anything with it? 
Oxygen's at 50%. Can I carry this thing with me? Like, can I throw it on my back or something? Because it looks like giant grapes, and I love grapes. I got grapes. That's a song from the Bay Area. It's by Nump. I think it was who it was. Dude, that was back in the day. That was way back in the day. But yeah, it was a song called I Got Grapes. I think we can also create terrain and flatten terrain too. Yeah, so there's the terrain creation right there. Just in case you wanted to make yourself a little walkway bridge. And we can flatten that on out. And then just be careful about this because I don't want to eat shit hella hard and die. Um, let's go and we'll create another little land bridge right there. Yup, just all the way on up. Uh, don't overdo it though. Perfect. A little bit of terraforming action right there. Uh, we will continue to expand that out. And now, we've got ourselves a bridge to get over and into this area. We've got another pretty threatening looking plant right there. But chances are, I'm just being paranoid. Oh, uh, we've got laterite, which gets us aluminum, I guess. Hell yeah. Aluminum's always good. I'm sure lots of space age shit is made out of aluminum. That seems like the kind of thing. And even better is like one day, once we get the actual secret Coca-Cola recipe, uh, we can chill out here and we can start dumping some of those in some cans that we've made out of it too. And I've got a feeling that's going to be hype. We're going to create our own Coke cartel out here, but not like the scary Coke cartel. Like the Coke cartel that has like polar bears and like Santa Claus and stuff like that. So having grabbed bare minimum materials from down here in the cave, I'm going to head on back. We're headed back home, walking all alone. I feel like that'd be the hardest situation about this, just being alone all the time. Like a lot of human beings say that they're loners, but there's very few people that can live up on a mountain for like 40 years, let alone six months without actually starting to get a little stir crazy up in the cabin. Some people can do it, don't get me wrong. My granddad is a hermit. He lives on a mountain out in the middle of Arizona in the middle of nowhere. Like the nearest town is like an hour away. And he loves it. That's like his favorite thing in the whole world. He loves that shit. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll extend this out right here. And so we can make like a common hub if we want to. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Uh, extend that thing out to right there. And I don't recall what adding more resin to this is going to do. I think it adds more of these little Jimmy Rig things right here, I think. And so let's just take this out to here. We don't have any more resin right now. Uh, what's inside my little canisters? What's going on there? So we got soil and we have soil. Okay, so drop that on the ground because I don't care about that. Uh, those can do their own thing off to the side. I'm pretty sure those are what hold oxygen. I've just got to figure out how to put oxygen inside of them. Like, I don't know if I can put a canister right there. And so the canister's on that side. I wonder if I could take oxygen and dump it up inside of there. Hmm. It says it's full of soil, but I don't know. Let us build the soil golem. Huzzah! The soil golem has been built. I'm going to bring that back down around. Oh, we've built an archway. We are the best. Hooray for our artwork. I'll probably make a cave for myself or something over here. That'd be kind of cool. Make like a personal cave. Hell yeah, let's do it. I'm going to make a personal cave over here. Nobody allowed inside my personal cave. It's for me only. It's for me and my enjoyability only. There we go. Yup. Get ourselves a nice little cave rocking over here. Keep that going off the side, even though it's got kind of a weird tumory appearance. That's okay. This is gonna be our this is gonna be our magical storage cage. This is where all the fun's gonna happen. Inside of our cave. In my cave. Oh. So that's how the canisters affect things. You put uh, the soil inside the canister and that actually limits your... You used to be able to just terraform as much as you wanted to. Now, you got to do more better. Uh, you got to come up with ways to get things done a little faster. So yeah, I think that that affects maybe the amount of soil we have to build stuff up. I mean, that looks pretty dope though. We made ourselves like a little mushroom kingdom house over here. Hell yeah. I'm pretty happy with my work at the moment. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm like a little kid with Play-Doh right now. I'm having way too much fun. Uh, let's put that up right there. Oh, shit. We built a cave. Everybody come out to my rave. Okay, so if I get up like right here. Oh, yes. Oh, shiz diggity bang. We're doing this. We're building a wizard tower. 
Oh, we have our own cave of respite. Hell yeah. We have our own little area where we can just hang out. We can kick it. Nobody can say anything to us because we pay the rent. We pay the rent, Dad. We pay the rent. Uh, but yeah, there's our, our little lumpy cave over there. I'll probably do my best in between episodes to make it look a little bit sexier. Just so we have a better shot at, like, making it do what it do. Uh, there's some resin right there. We got a little bit stored up. We needed it to expand whatever the hell this was over on this side. I assume that something's going to happen when I put two resin on this. And I want to find out what that something is. So we put two resin on top of it, and that has created a building spot. I knew we could do it somehow. I just didn't know exactly how. It's been a long time since I played last. Let's extend this one out right here. Yup, throw a resin up on top of it. And so we can get ourselves another building spot right here, too. But we're out of resin. So what we need is compound in order to make that work. Okay. I think a smelter is a good idea because that will help us create electricity. A uh, research chamber is probably what I'll start with, though. And compound was, like, hiding over here somewhere. You know, our cave is not the most beautiful of caves, but it is ours. And sometimes, as, a, as an explorer, as a man, that's all that you need is your own space. You just need that little area. Some people don't understand it. They be like, why do you gotta have your own space? Why do you gotta be all alone and shit? And I'll be like, because I gotta do I gotta do me, man. I gotta do me. You ever you ever need like your alone time, you know what I mean? Like everybody needs that. Like you need that time where you just get to like chillax for a little while. No work, no anybody talking to you. And it's not because you don't like your friends or the people you associate or whatever. It's just sometimes you need you time. Sometimes you just need to just hang out for a little bit and like reconnect with what makes you awesome. I'm a, I'm a big person like that. Like, if I don't get, like, at least, like, oh, I don't know, maybe, like, an hour of me time a day where it's just, like, me inside my office, like, playing solitaire on the computer while listening to music or something like that, man, I start to go a little bit crazy. I start, I start to be a disagreeable human being if I don't get that a few days in a row. I start to get grumpy and be like, I ain't get to do anything I wanted with my life. It's all over for me now. Uh, craft that. Yeah, there we go. Get that research, uh, con get that research chamber cracking. And so the research chamber... That's done. As I recall, we can put objects in the middle of that that we find, like, around. And so usually you kind of just want to look for points of interest and drop those on there. Uh, but awaiting a research sample. Place an item in the chamber. Any item? Like, what if I take that right there and I put that inside the chamber? What happens now? Uh, so we get 115 bytes of data from putting that in there. And I can push the button to begin. But I don't think we have any power right now, so I'd be surprised if this is actually going to function. Because we need to get ourselves... I think I've got to fuel it by hand, if I remember right. I don't think it's actually going to do what I want it to do. I think what I can do is... You, you see how there was little... Well, I'll show you when we go back, but there's little knobs. Yeah, give me all that right there. Give me that material. Yup, perfect. A little bit of organic material right there because we're still primitive and we're still like early on in what we can accomplish just with what we have on hand. Uh, we've actually got to fuel things the old fashioned way with like coal. Um, and so we scoop up a couple of plants right there. That's going to give us a little bit of organic resources. And if I remember right, uh, we can take these over to here and we can plug them into these little slots. I think I remember what I have to do now. Now that I thought about it, I think I remember what I have to do. So you take the small generators, right? You take one of these, and if you have a small generator, you can slap it onto here. That's what it was. Everything in this game can actually, it's like Legos. You can attach just about everything onto other things. And then we put that right there, and aha, we have found the magical ticket. And so with the power graph going, it's going to take about five minutes for that to happen. It's going to take a bit. Uh, my suggestion would be the creation of many, many more generators because we're not going to have much more of an option if we don't make this thing happen. So I got soil inside of there. There's another generator. Let's go ahead and slap some organic on there. Or do I not have any organic? Ah, oh, I'm all out of organic. Okay, well... This is Astroneer. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here today. Hope you guys have liked the title so far. We'll probably be doing a couple episodes of this one just to sort of explore and figure out what's going on with the extended content that they've added to the game. Uh, so far, I do very much like what they've got going on with the, uh, with the research update. I like how they've changed things around a little bit, and I like how they've made it so that the research wasn't quite so binary and off and on. 
Like, you used to just pick up an object, you threw it into the machine, and then it gave you a new building. And while cool, uh, it wasn't like a satisfying experience. Like, it didn't make you feel like, aha, I have accomplished something. I actually like how they've decided to reduce everything down to point values in order to get the stuff done that you need to get done. And so, uh, Astroneer, this is the research update, the first major update that the game has ever had. And it actually looks like it speeds up if I add more power. Yeah, it does. It can draw heavier power, so you can overclock your research, huh? Cool. If you want to get the game for yourself, it's down below. Uh, if you wanted to support me, the easiest way to do that is just to hit that like button. If you like what we're doing here, smash that thing. It's how I know to keep a series going, and it's also, uh, it helps the channel get more exposure. And it helps more people come in so that we can keep doing this for a long time in the future. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi, do, everybody. Bye.